Let's look at the simplest atom, hydrogen. Hydrogen exists in three forms, protium with one proton and an electron revolving around it, deuterium with one proton, one neutron and an electron revolving around it and finally we have tritium with one proton and two neutrons present in the nucleus and the electron revolving around them. We are all familiar with the representation of an atom. So these three forms of hydrogen can be represented in the following manner. They have the same number of protons, hence the same value of Z. But since they have different number of neutrons or nucleons, they have a different value of mass number. These atoms are isotopes of one another. Another very common example of isotopes is that of carbon with carbon 12, carbon 13 and carbon 14. Carbon 14 being famously used for carbon dating which is used to estimate the age of objects that are thousands of years old. Atoms that have the same value of Z but a different value of A or mass number are called isotopes. But what about atoms that have a different atomic number but the same mass number? These atoms are isobars of each other. Let's look at an example of isobar. Let's take the example of argon and calcium where we can clearly see that their atomic numbers are different but their mass numbers are exactly the same. They have a different value of atomic number but they have the same value of mass number that is they have the same number of nucleons or neutrons plus protons. However, it is to be noted that they have different number of protons and they have different number of neutrons but they sum up to the same value. Let's expand on this example. Let's determine the number of protons and neutrons in these two atoms. The number of protons is given by Z, so in case of argon it would be 18. The number of neutrons would be 40 minus 18 because it is A minus Z which would be 22. In case of calcium, the number of protons would be 20 and the number of neutrons would be A minus Z that would be 20 once again. As we can clearly see that the number of neutrons are different, the number of protons are different but they sum up to the same value. In addition, the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons in case of a neutral atom. Apart from isotopes, isobars, we also have isotones. Isotones are atoms that have the same number of neutrons. Let's take the example of sodium 23 and magnesium 24. If I were to determine the number of neutrons in sodium, I would simply do A minus Z. In this particular case, it would be 12. And in case of magnesium, it would be 24 minus 12, that would be 12 once again. And since in this case, both the atoms contain the same number of neutrons, we call these species isotones. Let's look at the chemical and physical properties of isotopes, isobars and isotones. The chemical properties are determined by the electronic configuration. Since isotopes have the same number of electrons, they share the same electronic configuration and therefore their chemical properties are exactly the same. Their physical properties are similar but differ slightly due to their slightly differing atomic masses. However, in case of isobars and isotones, since they have completely different electronic configuration, their chemical as well as physical properties are entirely different. Let's look at a couple of questions. Which of the given atoms are isotope, isobar and isotone of C14? Take a moment to solve this. In this case, in the first example, we have C14 and C12. In case of carbon-12, it has the same Z with carbon-14. In case of nitrogen, it has the same value of mass number with carbon-14. In case of oxygen, neither the Z is same nor the A is same. However, in this case, we should determine the number of neutrons. Carbon-14 has a total of 8 neutrons, whereas oxygen-16 also has a total of 8 neutrons. Therefore, the number of neutrons are same. Hence, we found out that carbon-14 and carbon-12 are isotopes of one another. Carbon-14 and nitrogen-14 are isobars of one another. And carbon-14 and oxygen-16 are isotones of one another. Let's look at another example. In this case, an atom X11-23 is used for its specific chemical properties. 
However, due to a short supply of X, it has to be substituted with another atom. Which of the following would be a suitable replacement and why? Take a moment to solve this. Alright, I hope you have solved this. In this case, we are using X because of its specific chemical properties and if we are to substitute X with another atom, the other atom must also have the same chemical properties. For same chemical properties, its electronic configuration must be same and the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons in case of a neutral atom. Hence, we are looking for an isotope of X. And as we can clearly see, isotopes have the same value of Z. So, R would be a suitable replacement for X. Let's look at one final example. Which of the following would contain the same number of atoms if one gram of each is taken? Take a moment to solve this. Now in this case, since what we want is the same number of atoms if one gram of each is taken. Now the number of atoms can be determined by moles of atoms multiplied by Avogadro number. And moles of atom as we already know is given by weight divided by atomic weight. Now in this case we want the same number of atoms and since the weight and Avogadro number are constant for all of these species, the number of atoms would be same if the atomic weight is same. And atomic weight is nothing but the mass number. So all the species having the same mass number will have the same number of atoms if one gram of each is taken and hence options B, C and D since they have the same mass number will contain the same number of atoms in equal weights.